Good morning and welcome to Our Kitchen. I'm Gordy Galusha. I'm Nancy Oster. And today we're, uh, we are recording our 305th show. Yep. And um, we're still hanging in there. We're yep. still yep. going. Yep. Well, anyway, that's, this is our 305th program and I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to be making Salisbury steak with mushroom gravy and frosted brownies. Nancy, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you. Okay, um, I will be mixing uh, about two pounds of, of uh, ground beef and uh, I'm using the 85% uh, uh, anything higher than that 90 or 95 is even though people uh, nutritionists recommend less fat if you're making uh, patties and hamburg uh, meatloaf and stuff, the hamburg becomes very dry and not very palatable at all. So, um, this is a recipe uh, that uh, inter interesting enough. It's uh, a keto recipe, and I'm not into keto, but. Uh, when I went through it, it was a, a recipe uh, for Salisbury steak that uh, was good for me. So, uh, I have about two pounds of ground beef in here, and I'm going to add two tablespoons of half and half. Now the recipe, this is one little change I made called for whipping cream. I don't keep whipping cream on hand, and just for two tablespoons, um, I said I will use my half and half. And this is the regular, it's not no fat. The next uh, ingredient is about a quarter of a cup of finely chopped onion. One egg. And Eggs are very expensive at this point, back to what they were COVID uh, time. Supposedly because <coughs> of six, sick chickens again. Uh, then I want one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. and two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. And a half teaspoon of garlic powder. I like garlic powder. <laughs> okay, and salt and pepper to taste. And this again is my lemon pepper. You use whatever lemon pepper you, or any pepper that you used. Okay. 
I'm going to mix this all together. Um, I guess I'm going to get my fingers dirty. Uh, and then I'm going to make six patties. And uh, you won't, we'll, we won't show you that. And I'm going to fry them uh, in this large fry pan with a little bit of oil uh, for two to three minutes. I don't want them cooked all the way through. So um, while I'm doing this, I'm going to turn it over to Gordy. Today I'm going to make an easy recipe uh, with my Duncan Hines. I'm going to make fudge brownies and I'm going to frost them. Today is uh, brownie day. So I have in my, bo in my uh, bowl, I have two large eggs, uh, three tablespoons of water, and two-thirds cup of vegetable oil. Now if that isn't easy, I don't know what is. Make sure we mix it all up good. Make sure all your batter or all your contents of your box is all mixed up. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I have a grease 9 by 13 pan. Oops. Okay, smooth it all out in your pan. This is all there is to it. When they come out of the oven and cool, then you can make a chocolate frosting to put on them, and they're good for a quick dessert any old time of the year. I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven. Excuse me, Nancy. for 23 minutes and hopefully they'll get cooked the way they should. Oh, I got to find my timer. Here there it is. Okay, I'm going to send it back to Nancy. Okay, thank you, Gordy. Um, I just am ready to make the patties now and I'll just do a couple. Um, you don't want to watch me make six or seven patties. What we, um, I have a, a small amount of oil in the fry pan, um, and I'm going to brown these. Uh, on both sides, and then I'm going to remove them and 
keep them warm on a separate plate and continue on with the recipe, which we'll come back to when I'm ready. Okay, continuing on. I have um, browned the um, pa hamburg patties uh, and put them uh, on a plate. Now, I, I did take off some of the, uh, the grease because when they, they recommend 80-20, which has got more fat in it. Uh, so there'd be more uh, to uh, pour off. I don't. I didn't want a lot that was cooked out of the the Hamburg. And now uh, I am melting uh, two tablespoons of butter or margarine to the fry pan. And I'm going to saute eight ounces of uh, sliced mushrooms, uh, your preference uh, as to what kind you like. And I've got to get the fry pan heated up again. So I'm going to saute these in the margarine or butter for two to three minutes to soften them and uh, cook them down. So I will break again and come back when this has been accomplished. Okay, I've cooked down my mushrooms and now I'm going to deglaze the pan with a, about a half a cup of uh, beef broth with the muf mushrooms in the pan. That's to get the scrapings uh, up. These are all things that can add flavor to your meal. I like to uh, add uh, liquid uh, cooked vegetables in liquid like carrots or potatoes um, for soup, into soups or gravies to add just a little bit more flavor to what you're cooking. Okay, now. Going to return the uh, beef patties. I put them on a, a sheet of, of uh, paper towel and it did soak up some of the liquid. If you didn't uh, and you had liquid left uh, that drained out of the patties, you could put that back into the, the fry pan. And along with the patties, I'm going to liquid from plate. Uh, I forgot. I add, uh, the recipe now calls for one tablespoon of tomato paste, and I left it at home. Uh, and then a little uh, more mustard, but I also want to put in one and a half cups of uh, beef broth now.
And I think I'll wait um, because I'm going to thicken the gravy uh, after these have cooked uh, thoroughly um, with uh, the mustard. Um, so I'll keep that uh, aside for the moment. So you let these simmer because we want to thoroughly cook the beef patties. And um, then I will be thickening the gravy when we're ready to serve them. And I'm going to serve them with uh, noodles. You can do mashed potatoes, you, uh, anything you like to put gravy on. So um, break again and uh, come back when the next the uh, thickening is going to happen. Now I'm going to make my chalk. I'm going to make some chocolate frosting to put on the brownies. I have two cups of um, confectionery sugar in my bowl. I have a stick of butter, and I'm going to put in a little vanilla. And I'm going to add some cocoa powder to this. And I'm going to add four tablespoons to begin with of milk. Okay, mix it up good. Mm. Got to put a little more, whoops, confectionery sugar in there because it's a little on the thin side. Well, it's still a little thin. You gotta add some more, I guess. By the time I get done, I'll probably add all the box in here, the other box I have. So I'm gonna put a little more in. See how that works. My brownies are still a little warm to put the, um, before I put the frosting on. So I'm going to, are you uh, ready to go back on, Nancy? And then I gotta let this cool a little bit yep, before I put I the can, frosting on. I can go back on. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over to Nancy. I've finished uh, simmering my hamburg patties in the mushroom and uh, beef broth uh, liquid, and now I'm going to um, thicken the broth with the mushrooms. And what I do is um, I took a little bit of more beef broth and a tablespoon of flour. You can use cornstarch, uh, what you like, whatever you prefer to thicken. 
mix that together to make what we call a slurry. And I did add some of the Dijon mustard to this. And this may not be enough, um, but I will pour this mixture into. And as it, uh, it will thicken up, and I may have to do it again. I don't want it too thick, so you do it like Gordy was doing with her confectionery sugar, a little at a time. Okay, a little more beef broth. A little more flour. And as it simmers up again, that's when it's going to start to thicken. This is where a whisk comes in handy. Break down the flour. Mustard. And remember also the uh, tablespoon of uh, tomato paste, which I said I had forgotten at home. It's getting there. Meanwhile, I have uh, cooked up some um, egg noodles. Drain the noodles. And I will put them on top of the, the patties on top of the noodles. 
and with a little gravy and serve gravy on the side. And are you ready to frost? I am. I'm out okay. frosty. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I believe my brownies are cooler now, so I will be able to frost them. Make sure you get all your frosting out. There you have chocolate brownies with chocolate frosting, which is a good um, dessert anytime after school, anytime you want to have a picnic or anything. Make a batch of these and they'll go quick. Well, Going to turn this over to Nancy. Well, we're going to our table. Welcome back to our table. We did an awful lot of breaking back and forth today with... Uh, uh, as we put our recipes together, but I think we're together now. Um, this is being filmed the 1st of March. Uh, I'm glad I added some brighter flowers because we both made things with, with uh, brown hues to them. Um, mine was a Salisbury steak with uh, mushroom gravy. And uh, we put I put together uh, about two pounds of Hamburg and added some um, half and half, a little bit, um, some finely chopped onion, uh, an egg, some Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, and garlic powder and salt and pepper to taste. So I made the patties and I browned them in a fry pan, uh, not cooked all the way. Uh, and then I removed them and um, melted some butter or margarine in the fry pan and added to saute till uh, limp, soft, was uh, eight ounces of uh, mushrooms of your choice, uh, which I had sliced. I used the white ones um, because that was my choice. And I cooked them down. And then I returned um, the uh, patties back to the uh, fry pan, added a about a cup and a half more of beef broth, which I had used previously to deglaze the mushroom uh, cooked cooking, and uh, simmered them for to cook them through for um, 10, 15 minutes or so. Just simmered them, and uh, then I wanted to thicken the liquid, the the beef broth. And uh, what you do that way is you take a little uh, other beef broth and add some flour or cornstarch to it, mix it together, and then pour it into the, the uh, cooking uh, broth with the patties. And when you bring it back to a boil, that will thicken the gravy. And I cook some um, uh, egg noodles. You can have mashed potato. Um, noodles and I will serve that with the patties and then extra gravy on the side. So this is the main course. Gordy, I'm over to you. Well today I made an easy recipe which I made out of a 
Duncan Hyde fudge brownie mix. And they're very easy to make and it's very good for a party or whatever you want to have them for. And I made the chocolate frosting with uh, two cups of confectionery sugar, a stick of, bu uh, stick of butter, a couple teaspoons of vanilla, and um, th maybe three tablespoons of milk. I mixed it all up and this is the frosting that I got and I frosted my brownies. And um, they look pretty good. <laughs> If you would like any of these recipes, please send a self-addressed stamp envelope to 151 Park Avenue, Dalton, Mass, 01226. And that is all from our kitchen today. Please have a very good day and a good week.